Okay, today we are talking about a valve leak testing device. So what is a valve leak testing device? This is a valve leak testing device, all steel construction. It's a simple design that I came up with that's cost effective, easy to build from common, readily available parts. So here's a concept drawing that I did, and let's go over the main components. You have a crank handle that turns a piece of all thread. That all thread moves the guide block. The guide block is bolted to the follower plate. The follower plate slides on the slide plate, and there is also a stationary plate. Screwed into the stationary plate is a pressure regulator. That's where you apply compressed air at a low PSI to put air into the valve you're trying to test to determine if it leaks or not. So you would apply air, close that ball valve, and then you, would, you have effectively trapped a body of air between that ball valve and one side of the valve you are testing. You would then spray some bubble leak detector inside this inspection port straight into the valve you are testing. If that valve is faulty or is leaking internally, you will see bubbles starting to form and or you will see the pressure gauge on the pressure regulator starting to drop down towards zero over a period of time. So here are all the main components ready to be assembled. Again, it's welded steel construction. You can see there's two pillow bearing blocks, a lock nut, the pressure regulator with ball valve, the guide block, the all thread, the follower plate. So here you can see I am testing a socket weld valve and you can see I have the ball valve closed, so there is currently a small pocket of air trapped between that ball valve and one side of the socket weld valve. I would then spray my bubble leak detector in the inspection port and check for bubbles, and I would then watch my PSI gauge over a period of time to see if the needle drops. Great thing about this leak testing device it's small enough that you can transport it in a field service truck to a remote job site. Woo! Or you can bolt it to your workbench permanently or simply clamp it to your workbench with C-clamps. This is a great time and money saver because it reduces rework from defective valves that come from the factory. Because you're able to catch the defective valve before it even gets installed. Wow. I hope this information helps you. If you got value out of this video, please consider subscribing or hitting the like button. Helps the channel move up in the YouTube algorithm so we can help more people with their facilities maintenance and repair tasks. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.